crazy peeps. So last night in the webinar that I delivered, I saw a new web part, which I didn't know was there. And I thought I would try it out today. And then also for some of you that might not be so super technical on SharePoint, I thought I'd help you with those icons because this might be quite new to you. So on this page, you'll see that there's a useful links web part. Now, this is not the same as your quick links. So just to recap that, these are quick links, these are quick links, um, that's a quick link. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Quick links, quick links. So that's not quick links, that's something different. So this uh, definitely was there in the old SharePoint, if I can call it that. I did use it slightly different, so um, I will show you what uh, for me the differences are. But this is a web part that you can add on uh, your landing page, on an intranet or on your team sites to share useful links with people. Now, I do understand there is links lists already, but this one has little headers, which I think is pretty cool. I don't see that it collapses yet, so I do hope that in future you will be able to collapse it and expand it. But let's take a look at how you can add this to a page. So I am going to put my page into edit mode. And while I wait for the page to go into edit mode, please remember, I know I speak very fast. Go set your playback options in YouTube um, to a different speed so that you can kind of slow me down because uh, as I always say, there's no pulls that's gonna slow this baby down. Okay, so there we are. Um, pretty soon I'll be able to eventually add the web part. Welcome to South African bandwidth, by the way. Okay, so once your page is in edit mode, you can then add a web part and uh, I'm gonna just add it above that web part and show you what it looks like. You can just search for links and you'll see there is a different looking web part called links. Don't get confused with lists. So there's a links list now. And once it's added, you will then click on configure to go and add those different links. There we go. So this links list um, consists of groupings as well as the links that you can add. So you can decide what those groupings must be. So an example would be graphics, Microsoft, personal development. Um, so if I click on configure groups, I can set those up. So the first grouping I'm gonna add is Microsoft and you'll see that there's a little plus on the right hand side. Then I'm gonna add another one, personal development, add. I'm gonna add another one graphics and uh, I'm gonna add it and save and now I've got my headings that are set up and now I can configure the links so if I now click on configure links I'm gonna bring in a um, mind tools which is one of my favorite favorite websites there we go and this might be confusing if uh, if well if you're not a developer um, you definitely won't be using this much and believe me, it was confusing for me as well. So all I did is that I navigated to the specific um, URL. So I just copied that and I'm gonna open the page and then just show you how that works. So there we go. Fluent UI icons, how cute is that? So um, let me just uh, quickly do this again. So you'll see there it says icons can be found here. So we wanna put a little icon in there. You can do it without the icon, but I prefer it with the icon. So for mine tools, let's go look for something. If you scroll down on this page, now this already goes um, too crazy for me. I'm like, there's way too much code on that page, but uh, don't be afraid of it. I promise you, if I can get through this, then you will. Create, oh, I'll use that one. So see, there's a little icon that I can use and see there's the name that we're looking for. So the easiest way to do this, because you've got to spell this exact, is I'm actually going to double click on that name and you'll see that it highlights it. And then I'm just going control C on my keyboard and I'm going to navigate back to my SharePoint site. So now that text that I copied, voila. And now I can assign this to one of the groups. So this is personal development, current page, new. So I want to open in a new tab. Okay, so that's my target. I don't want to open in the current page. It depends on whether you want to do that. I'm going to add another one and I'm going to call this the SharePoint lookbook, for example. So that's another one that I want people to use. So SharePoint lookbook. And again, let's go to um, the UI icons. I'm going to just take a wild guess at this and search for SharePoint. Look at that. 
Again, I'm gonna double click on the name, Control C, I've alt tab back to my SharePoint site and I'm gonna put this under Microsoft. Again, I want this to open in a new tab. I'm gonna just go add and save because I do think that you're getting the kind of idea now. So there's the new web part that I've added and you'll see there's the heading, SharePoint Lookbook and Personal Development. I would really um, look forward to seeing if Microsoft uh, updates this for us to be able to have it as collapsible so that you can collapse the groups. And something that I really would like as well is if you could write a me view on that list. So you know um, in the old SharePoint we could write a filter um, square brackets around the me and it'll then show items that you created if that makes sense. So we can have one web part that everyone in the company can use but it only shows me the links that I've added if that makes sense. So that's a pretty nifty thing I think that would work as well and um, instead of just talking about it I should absolutely go and head over to the user voice and go and log that. So let's just uh, republish this and there you go. How cute is that? So enjoy playing with that and uh, like I said uh, it might be new to you but don't uh, be afraid of it. It's, uh, it's not that difficult. You can just go to the icons, um, scroll to the bottom of the page and you can pretty much type nearly anything in there um, to find the icon that you are looking for. You can just scroll through as well but I definitely get um, choice fatigue when I do that. So it's much easier to just search for something and then to add it. Useful links, I think it's a pretty nifty um, idea and what I do like about it is that I can add headers so you can still have quick links that looks similar so I'll quickly modify one of them to show you let's put the page back into edit mode so here I'm going to take a normal quick links list okay so this is not the normal list that you see there and I'm going to edit this list and actually change it so that you can see the different layouts so here in the layouts you'll see at the moment it's set to buttons but you'll see that it's got a list um, view which looks very very similar to this. I'm going to just um, close that and show you on the page. So you'll see if I change it to list it actually looks very very similar to, um, to that specific one. It's just a little bit bigger and then also I don't have the ability to add grouping. So it looks very similar but not the same web part. This is quick links, that's useful links. I hope you enjoy it. Catch you in the next video. Take care.